Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I don't know why I'm going to record. But anyways, so we got um, my daily. Shout out to Chance over here. He actually, for my birthday, which was yesterday on the 5th. Um, it will be September 5th. By the time you guys see it, it'll be like way past then. He actually, I had these wheels from Chris. I made a deal with him from his Ace Gen. He's also a picture right here. So we made a deal. I swapped the odd ones because I really wanted 17s for this car. And it was hard. It's hard to sell wheels right now. I don't know if you guys have been trying, but real wheels are the market is so slow for buyers. Everyone wants to trade, or just nobody's buying it. But anyway, so I had these ones. I, had, I bought these Needle 05 tires, and I was afraid they wouldn't fit. And I had these Skunk 2 lowering springs. And chance for my birthday surprised me, and I actually installed it, put my tires on it, everything, and got this looking good. So actually, that, that looks good. I need new headlights. Uh, but yeah, this is my 9th Gen Civic Si. Currently, as a daily, not really a build. More of the build right now is going to be more as 4th Gen. Uh, that's what we're focusing on right now. But um, eventually, I'll get me another uh, build, maybe a 4th Gen or um, maybe a, a TLX. We'll see. This is just for now because uh, we're in the process of moving and all that. And we need a, a reliable car. But yeah, we got a chance right here. Uh, I keep saying, let me know if you guys want to see this fix. We could literally do a little series of getting this fixed, this quarter panel. Um, if you guys are interested, like DIY, we are not professional, so we'll do it the best we can as well, what we have here. But yeah, we got this. Just let us know. But anyways, uh, we'll catch you guys up once we see more people come. You guys want 4 gen content? We're gonna give you 4 gen content. We're here, we got Tim. We're going to be doing front rotors on this car. Um, I'll show you guys the rotors is in here. It's actually like, like 230 bucks. Very cheap. Very good for a daily driver. Drone slider with brake pads all around. Detroit Axles is the brand. So yeah, let me open it up and show you guys. These come with front rotors and rear rotors. This might be the rear. And these ones should be the front. Yeah, these are the front ones. Go on slide. Brakes for front and rear for like two. How about these? 240. Like 240 for all of this, which is pretty good for a daily driver. Let's go ahead and put these on. Here's the old ones. And just like that, uh, I didn't need to do a full in-depth video because there's plenty on YouTube. But yeah, just got some nice rotors. We'll paint the calipers one day, but uh, well, we got this light in. We'll move on to the next one, and then we'll do the rear. Very simple. This is my dad's. My old car, but my dad's now. It's all-wheel drive, all-wheel drive wheels, all-wheel drive. 3.7. Best tool ever is this like impact extension wrench for these hard uh, 19 mils that never been took it off before takes them off like nothing watch very easy don't even have to break a sweat now fronts are done but look how nice they look oof we can do the rear now all right this is the rear ones here's the before and here's an after. Nice. That's how you put four gen brakes on. We'll see what else we do in this video. Alright, so took a few parts. I'm gonna take the axles out and I don't think I'll get this done today, but I will right, we'll see. I want to get this motor and transmission out ASAP. That way we can start just ripping off a few parts here and there. We got a bunch of aftermarket goodies, slave cylinder, K Tune master cylinder. We have a bunch of stuff we want to pull out. So we're slowly going to be making progress. Um, 
yeah, let's just see them. Take off the motor mounts, these are innovative ones. Take all those out, and yeah. So we got it out, it took about like 40 minutes total with the help of Frankie, just helping me um, maneuver it out. Um, it is fully out with our color quits here. I'm just gonna clean up and we'll continue this another day. But yeah, it's fully out, full six speed. It was very quick. All right, guys. Next day, so I'm probably gonna pull up the exhaust, pull up, uh, put the re finally put it on jack stands. So I'm gonna pick up the car, take off the rear wheels, put on jack stands. I think the front, I'm basically done. It's all stock, so I'm just pull off, pull the axles completely, if anything, and then uh, I'll put the well, these one spare on. I still need to find some spares for this car. Uh, I guess the headlight could get taken off. I'll save that as a spare also. And I can see if anyone want like any. Hoses, cause I replaced a bunch of new hoses, but shifter cables are coming out. The master is all going to be coming out. We'll see. And you melt. All right, guys, I got what I can for now. So I ended up taking off the front end links because I'm giving a chance. If you haven't seen them in the, in the, if you haven't seen Chance in the videos, uh, he's been helping me. Well, you've been seeing Chance in the last videos, I mean. But yeah, he's been helping me a lot. So I'm going to be giving him these end links. These are brand new. Brand new end links. So that's very good. But I took off the whole exhaust. It's on that side. Uh, this is just a muffler delete with a cherry bomb. Very simple. Uh, what else? So we took off the rear wheels. We put some stocks on. And we took off the axles because it was dangling there. Unhooked the tie rod ends because we're going to take the whole rack and pinion. That's all brand new. But we'll leave this because we don't need any of that. Uh, cats are off the engine. Front rear cats. Uh, J-pipe and the third cat. Innovative motor mount. Still got the rear mount. Um, and then I took off the rear sway bar. Yeah, the rear sway bar is taken off also. So I think that's it for now. Uh, when I come back, we'll take off a few other things. Like we'll take off the Type S side markers, the mirrors, the door panels, and maybe this headlight, and then the rock and pinion and shifter cables. Other than that, we don't really need too much more. We can salvage off of this. But um, yeah, we'll see. We will see. Panels are off. We got the spec cool and transmission off that as well. That's actually been sold already. You guys picking up this the shifter cables which we're gonna pull off hopefully tomorrow morning because i gotta get going and then uh pull off the transmission and then you're gonna get the flywheel and the clutch uh so that's all good the motor is not for, not sold yet but yeah we are still making some progress here um but yeah look how brand new this thing looks I told you i have not been driven all right it's been a while since i picked up the camera yeah, I think you don't pick up shit unless I tell him to. Well, nobody wants to see an oil change. But, but they do want to if see you guys want to see oil changes, I guess let me know. But they want to see my car, though. <laughs> they want to see you with stock hey, wheels with lug want, nuts. You want to sell me these rollers right here and you're using them for the car not to roll down? Yeah. <laughs> They're not even for your car. Where are they at? They're outside. What, the rollers? Yeah. The junk anyway. Which one? No, over here. Really? You wanna see it? Not here. Did Vincent take it? <laughs> oh, oh yep. It was still smashed, but um I guess an update, we got the motor over here. We have the transmission sold. We sold a few other things. Um I still gotta pull out the rack, the K tune master cylinder and the brake lines i think that's about it for this and i really don't need nothing else everything looks good until you look inside i'm gonna get roasted what happened here how does this even happen i don't know how the fuck that happened how does that happen chat let us know like i'm on live stream right now all right in the chat Look at Jose. I'm on all fours. Look at Jose. Look at Vincent. Get the pan under it. Huh? Get the pan under that one. I'm just gonna empty it up. 
All right, we'll be back when something funny happens. Like Lyle is to be messed up his oil. Remember that? Oh yeah. We so could you tell us what happened, bro? So Demi's doing my oil change, and he re-thread, and he... he didn't pay for my services, so he's doing his own oil change. Continue. He frustrated my bolt to my oil fucking pan. Demi fucking he was like, I'm gonna do it for you for free. He's like, I got you. Oh yeah. We don't do favors for nah, friends. Was, I was kidding. Nah, I, already, I had already known it was fucked up. Yeah, so where's your bolt? Yeah, uh, Chance has it. Hmm. Well, yeah, so he's kind of stuck halfway between my door. It's okay. If we have to leave it here, we'll push it out. I know, but I'm just saying. Uh, so we're going to hopefully he'll fix it. And yeah. So I can at least order another one. Yeah, he might need an oil pan eventually. Mm -hmm. Today, we're going to show you guys how to take a rack and pinion out. The first thing you want to do is remove the motor completely. As you can see where we did that. Because the motor it comes out in what, 40 minutes? And now the rack comes out in 20 minutes. Instead of spending three hours on the rack, now you have... See, you're good, right? You know how it works? It's basically, so basically the same thing. It took you 45 minutes to take the motor out, 30 minutes to take the rack out. That's an hour. Take, oh yeah. It take, takes about almost four hours to take the rack out. Oh uh, yeah, on the, with the, on the, the, the floor. The computer says. On the yeah. floor. That's, on the floor is probably more than that. Because on the computer it calls for four hours to remove the rack. That's why I haven't done mine. Fuck that. And what's going on, Jose? Record it yourself. You're the one. Yeah. That, you record sure. myself? I'll show, record show mine. all your car fuck ups. Well, first of all, we did that. Like Look at that. It's all dirty. Well, yeah, there. Demi, you know you would have been like, oh, I don't know. I knew it was higher. I knew it was higher. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we cross threaded the bolt. So. I took this shit to Dainuba Tire last to do my oil change because I was going to go to work. I didn't want to do the oil change, so that's what happens. Now, I'm not going to take my shit nowhere. I'm not going to take my shit nowhere. I'm going to start doing my oil change myself because I'm cool. You know, now I got to fucking buy a whole new oil pan. But yeah, it's all good, you know. TL lifestyle, right? We'll come back after these messages. All right, well, he put JV well on that bolt, so we'll see if it holds up. Just, what are you guys doing? That's <laughs> <laughs> funny. Hey, can somebody call my phone? I lost it. Ah. You, we can't deal with you no more. Yep.